Hey, it's your boy Bobby V's here, wanting to talk about my review of Dragon Ball Super Episode 88, and I just want to say, hey, it's, <laughs> this is a real good episode, man. But, shots out to Herms for the translations you did. Hey, man, if you guys can, follow Herms on uh, Twitter. Great job, man. Thank you. Um, but yeah, we're going to get into the review here. First off, the episode starts off with Gohan and Piccolo going at it with one another immediately. Then we cut into a scene with Goku telling Piccolo all the details, telling him about how things went in their matches and about the fact that the universes are extinct. It's pretty cool because it's like, okay, you know, it's like two dads meeting together and say, you know, Gohan need to do what he got to do. Goku even comes out and say, hey, he needs to be more powerful than he is. He, he needs to be on that level. So Piccolo's like, okay, it's my job. I'm going to handle that. So pretty much these two are going at it with one another. Very epic fight scenes. As a matter of fact, um, when the rain starts pouring down in the canyon, it reminds me of Street Fighter 2. For those who may know about the Street Fighter 2 animated anime movie, um, there's like, like the very beginning of it is Sagat and Ryu fighting one another like in the storm and in the rain it kind of got that vibe and i was like wow this is pretty good now this whole episode is entirely dominantly about gohan learning from piccolo and man to all the gohan fans i'm a gohan fan myself too i'm a fan of pretty much all the dragon ball but it was great to see gohan make the comeback that he made here today and in terms of him and Piccolo going at it with one another, because Piccolo is showing you where he's at. For those, I just want to give you a reminder or, re or just speak out my mind, uh, basically saying to you guys, like I said before, Piccolo is just like Goku and Vegeta, okay? This guy does not fall back on training. He is staying in constant training mode. Like, he's not on God level and all that, but he is constantly training. So those three out of everybody on the earth, they're going to still be training. So basically, when Gohan was going up against Piccolo, I don't know if Gohan was just thinking he was, you know, like, okay, it's going to be an easy, breezy fight or I'm going to hold back. Because Piccolo kept pointing out the fact that Gohan was holding back. He kept saying, you know, you're holding back. And Gohan was like, you got to protect people that he loved. And Piccolo's like, that's a hold back to you. You really just need to learn how to push out your full power. So Piccolo keeps pushing Gohan and pushing him and pushing him. Gohan is fighting Piccolo at Super Saiyan 1. Finally, Piccolo is telling him, though, you need to go harder than that. Gohan goes Super Saiyan 2. And they start fighting one another with that as well. So finally, Gohan pushes, I'm not Gohan, Piccolo pushes Gohan to the point he's saying, you know, hey, Super Saiyan is, you know, you're strong, you know, your Super Saiyan is your form, but that's not your true power. So for the first time in a long time, I want to say since Majin Buu, we see Ultimate Gohan, or as some of us refer to him as, or speak of him as, Mystic Gohan. This thing, when this dude powered up to that level, this dude, I never seen it like this. This dude powered out of Super Saiyan 2, went beyond Super Saiyan 2, and went right back to himself. Now, being that Gohan's hair design is different now, meaning that you can see his forehead and his hair is pretty much spiked up, this continues with his hair in Super Saiyan 1, and likewise Super Saiyan 2. So now, how, how the heck can you tell that he's pretty much Ultimate Gohan or Mr. Gohan? Pretty much one piece of his hair come down, sort of like how Clark Kent does when, you know, when he's Superman. When, when Clark Kent is Superman, I mean, when Superman's Clark Kent, he has no hair in front of his head, but when he becomes Superman, man, he got like a hair right in front of his head so go on i got that going on with him right now the transformation is heavenly right now and, and the reason why i'm saying that is because it was storming it was lightning it was raining they were fighting and when he went ultimate gohan dog the sky became sunny and and wonderful and it was just you know it was a great thing it was a beautiful thing so they were going at it you know piccolo morphed out into like his many many forms like he did before not only that, a lot of shout outs to piccolo's abilities in this episode too great job but um basically Piccolo and Gohan was going at it. Gohan was knocking around his markers and everything. Gohan just cuts off Piccolo's arm. So then he's like, you know, he's apologizing for it. But then Piccolo's arm comes right back and blasts Gohan in the back. And Gohan, and now Piccolo, I mean, and, um, um, Piccolo reminded Gohan, hey, you know, he was kept pointing out the fact that how Gohan slipped against Boo because all of us knew Gohan should have took Boo out. But for some reason, I guess, you know, uh, either Boo was a little stronger or Gohan just let his power overwhelm him. But he blasted him in the back saying, this is how Boo had got you last time. So that was pretty cool, you know, getting that Gohan about things. And it was it was cool because as time went on, they trained a little bit more. And when Gohan thought it was over, Piccolo was like, no, we're, we're not done. And, this, and, and, and pretty much they're going to be working on, on some things together. Those two are going to be doing some team-ups in, on, on, in the tournament. You can already tell. There's a funny scene where uh, the dinosaur, I think it's it, a reference to the dinosaur that was chasing Gohan when he was a little kid. looks exactly like the dinosaur. Dinosaur was peeping at them while they were training. And then right at the very end, like <laughs> when it comes to the end, they cut the, the dinosaur's tail off without the dinosaur realizing they was cooking the dinosaur tail. So it was very funny. Now. Let's get into some other stuff. This episode had some jewels. 
Now, of course, there's the funny stuff with Beerus not wanting uh, Boma to chew him out because of the universe is being destroyed. And, um, you know, pretty much the whole scene with that, that, that was pretty funny. But um, we got Kaba. Man, we got Kaba in this episode. Kaba popped up. Man, look, I love Universe 6. It's such a different, unique universe. I'm, I'm serious. They really need to make a Universe 6 series and just focus on these different characters. Uh, Kaba is going to an uh, old general of his. I believe his name is Renzo. I, I believe Renzo is a Saiyan. And uh, yeah, he is a Saiyan. And Kaba's coming to him to recruit him, to get him on the team. So uh, Kaba is like like I like like I theorized and pretty much like I talked about a little earlier. Not just me, the community. Kaba's you know the majority of Universe Six's team is going to have some Saiyans on there. So it, we're going to be having some fights going down. So Kaba goes to to uh, to the commander, and the commander's like, you know, my legs are no more good. You know, I can't really do it, but my little sister can do it. And guess what? His little sister's name is Cauliflower. Guess who Cauliflower is? female Broly. So she officially has a name and I love the play on it because Broly's based, based on broccoli and then she's based on cauliflower which is pretty much like broccoli but white. So it's pretty cool how this is turning out and I'm hoping next episode um, that we're getting some more action with them. Like, And, and the little tidbit scene we get with her, man, she looks like a straight badass. So Oh, I can't wait. I just want to say when it comes down to it, this episode is one of my favorite episodes. I'll give it like what a 9 or a 9.5. I just want to say I really like how everything went with it. Um, yeah, man. Yo, check it out. I just want to say it's your boy Bobby Beach here. Much love, much respect. If you like the content, go ahead and hit that like button. Go right ahead and hit that notification bell and go right ahead and subscribe. And if you want to, you can check out the other videos on, on my um, page as well. Plenty of stuff for you guys to check out. I just want to say much love, much respect. Hold down and one.